35 millimeter 1.8. Film jammers. Dobre utra, film jammers. This week we're looking at the Canon 35 millimeter RF lens, which I think is the best first starter lens for the Canon EOS R and RP cameras. Stick around for some sample images and video footage. All right, so this episode, we're doing something a little different. We're shooting it on the Steadicam Aero on the Ari Alexa Mini. We wanted to change it up a little, so we've got the wide camera there shooting Sean, you can see, operating the Steadicam. So leave a comment, let us know what you think. If you like us shooting these episodes on the Steadicam, or if you like that old traditional static lock off. Boring! What I really like about the 35 millimeter RF lens is that it has image stabilization built in. It's got a really nice macro functionality and it's small. So you can take it on vacation with you and you don't have to have a huge camera bag. I just went to Cozumel, Mexico and I took it with me. It's the only lens I took in my bag. And I was really happy with the pictures I got with it. You can get wide. You can also shoot those macro shots with it. So it gives you a lot of versatility in one lens. best thing for me is it's not super pricey. So a lot of these RF lenses that Canon's coming out with are really on the high end. You've got the 28 to 70, which is a $3,000 lens. You've got the 50 millimeter 1.2, which is over $2,000. So this lens is under 500, which is reasonable price compared to some of the other RF mount options. So I think it's a great first starter lens to get you into the RF mount system. The 1.8 is not quite as fast as Canon's top of the line EF mount, 35 millimeter lens, but it's pretty darn shallow at 1.8. You also have the great functionality of the macro built in and it's small. So to me, it makes a lot of sense for a traveling photographer, vloggers. With the RF mount, you're also getting the nice control ring interface. So I can change my ISO, you can set this to white balance and a number of other options within the camera menu. So that control ring is a really neat feature that's on all the RF lenses. So let's check out some pictures that I shot in Cozumel, Mexico with the camera. Is that a lighthouse? Because I have a lighthouse photo, it'll yeah, make sense. Don't... All right, well, let's check out some of that sweet video footage from the EOS R with the 35 millimeter 1.8 lens. So as you can see, the lens performs really well in the field and also in the studio. It's a super sharp lens. It's not quite as sharp as some of the higher end offerings from Canon, but for a 35 millimeter lens, it's very sharp. It's really nice. The RF mount is great. So the main reason I bought the RF 35 millimeter lens was because I wanted to take a lens with me that I could travel with and it would be discreet. It's got a lot of great features like the image stabilization, which if you're hand holding it, you can go a lot lower in your shutter speed. So I like that. I like that it's small. It's a third the size almost of the 24 to 105, which is my normal walk around lens. So just having this small package was really nice. And to me, it made a lot of sense for the price 450 that it's going for right now. One of the drawbacks of the lens is it's not weather sealed. I wish it was, I wish I could have that weather sealing, but it's not a total deal breaker for me. I did actually get rained on with this lens and it still worked. That's kind of just one of the minor drawbacks is that it doesn't have the weather sealing, but you get what you pay for. It's only $450, it's not a $2,000 dollar lens, okay people? Come on, what are you expecting with this? So to sum it up, I think the 35 millimeter RF 1.8 lens is the best starter lens for the RF mount system because you're getting an IS, an image stabilized lens. You're getting a shallow depth of field with that nice fast 1.8. And you're also getting a small lens that you can carry around with you. So it can kind of be your all in one lens when you don't want to take a long zoom or a larger prime lens with you. It makes a really nice small package with the Canon EOS R here or with the RP. And I think it's the best starter lens for the Canon EOS R and RP cameras. It's the Canon RF. Man, I wish I had an Alexa LF, but it's the EOS R with this thing. We're gonna go really far. Camera drop low. <laughs> it's insured, don't worry.
Oh, that's some sweet footage, girl. Donde esta mis maracas? Man, it's the EOSR. With this thing, we're gonna go far.